Yo, what is good, Lock em Up Nation? Coming at y'all with another banger, another build video. This time we are doing Russell Westbrook, who is one of my favorite players since I've gotten into basketball. He's super athletic, can jump out of the gym, great finisher, great dunker, super fast, just exciting to watch, and he's all around. I mean, the man's averaged a triple double multiple times. Stat pattern or not, he still averaged a triple double, which means. He has an all-around game, which means we are going to make ourselves an all-around player. Now, I've covered Steph Curry that can get locked Tigger. Steph Curry with great defense. Trey Young and MVP, Derrick Gross. All of them will be on the end screen. So, I recommend you watch this video the whole way through. That way, you can check those out and decide which one of these builds is best for you. Now, we're about to get into the build, but first, I stream on Twitch now. We're about to hit 200 followers, and once 2K21 drops, daily streams also we are on the road to 6k subscribers so make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload now on to the build the name is up to you position will be point guard right hand is what i'm doing you can do left hand if you want westbrook's right handed and i like being right handed jersey number go zero if you want but this is my player so i'm gonna go number 11. the pie chart we're gonna go with is the half playmaking half finishing so half yellow half blue so it's the fourth one you click that in the pie chart it's also the fourth one half speed half vert you notice 89 speed 88 acceleration not good enough for westbrook but wait till you see how i finesse this and 88 vert you know you want that vertical because westbrook is one of the most athletic players in nba history dude could literally jump out the gym just like derrick rose before his injury now close shot we're going to move up to a 70 it's good enough to get the job done Driving layup all the way up, driving dunk all the way up. They, those are Westbrook's strengths. Mid range shot. Westbrook is a good mid range shooter and not too much three point shooter. So 67 is just right. Free throw all the way up and post fade. We're going to go to 72. That's all you need for the 12 shooting badges, which is good enough not only for a Westbrook build, but you want to get as many shooting badges as possible. And 12 is all you need for the four major shooting badges, which I will show you once we get to the badges. So once I show you the build, don't go anywhere, because I'm going to show you the right badge setup. Westbrook is a great passer. Pass accuracy, all the way up. Ball handling, all the way up. We're not going to do post moves. I know that's disappointing, but we can't neglect defense. Defensive rebound, all the way up. Steal, all the way up. Not all quickness. Runner defense, all the way up. And the rest of this is up to you. You can do post moves, but I'm going to do interior defense for that seventh defensive badge. Now, body shape is up to you. I'm going to go defined and height Westbrook 6'3". So, we're going to stay 6'3". At least that's what he's listed as. Weight. Now, nah, look at the speed and acceleration. We're going to go all the way down on weight. I know Westbrook weighs more than 170 pounds, which I'm pretty sure he, I think he weighs like 200 something pounds. But, 92 speed, 91 acceleration. Strength takes a huge hit. But as a point guard in 2K, strength means absolutely nothing. So you'll have 92 speed, 91 acceleration, and 88 vert. And what people don't notice is, on a road to 99, it's not just the attributes that go up. Speed, acceleration, vertical, that all goes up too. So at 99, you're going to be super fast and super athletic, and you're going to be fast off rip. Now wingspan, we're actually going to keep it the same, or oh, you can keep it the same. That would be my second choice. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Now you can move the wingspan all the way down to get that jump shot up, but notice your driving dunk takes a hit. If you don't move down your wingspan, you have an 82. So at 98, you can get contact dunks. And you're not gonna be able to get contact dunks if you move your wingspan all the way down. And to me, the jump shot's not worth it because at 99, you're gonna have a 72 three ball and that's keeping the wingspan the same. But here's what we're gonna do. We're going to move the wingspan all the way up so you can get contact dunks off rip. 89 ball handling, you'll be able to speed boost off rip. And at 99, you'll have a 73 ball off rip. 65 3, it should be good enough because trust me, the name of this archetype, people do not play defense on this build. You're going to have wide open threes and you're going to have 12 shooting badges. And attributes, I mean, they're nice, but badges mean a lot more. So max out the wingspan. Take over. Westbrook is a playmaker. You could do him. I mean, you see his shot ratings. Shot creating take, you're not you're not really gonna be fading. Do not do that. You could do lock. You know, Westbrook gets a lot of steals and all that. So, you know, lock take might not be bad. But, you know, with contact dunks, what better to go with that than slashing takeover? 
So we're gonna go with Slashing Takeover, and there you have it. You have built a Slashing Playmaker. Shades of Kevin Johnson, Russell Westbrook, and John Wall. And I do see John Wall, because John Wall is also a similar type of player to Westbrook. Super fast, super athletic. But yeah, Russell Westbrook. Now, the badges don't go anywhere. Alright, so finishing, you got 12 to work with. I think Westbrook is great finishing through contacts, a Hall of Fame contact finisher. Relentless finisher, you know, he doesn't really lose stamina and all that. Acrobat, he makes some wild layups. I mean, you don't have to do it exactly like this. I mean, they're slithery finisher. I mean, that might be better than relentless finisher, to be honest. You know, there's that. There's also consistent finisher. You don't have to do it like this with the Hall of Fame. You know, you could spread it around a little bit. Do whatever you want. But for now, this is how I'm going to keep it. I actually don't even know if I'm going to make this build in a game drop. So, I don't know. I'm going to figure out once I make this build, once the game drops, if I decide to make this build once again. But the shooting badges, range extender, gold. I know that's cheating, Westbrook. I mean, Westbrook has made some bomb threes. I mean, we all remember that game winner against the Nuggets. But, yeah, Westbrook ain't really known for his range. But we want to be the best shooter possible on our build, especially at the low three-point rating. So, gold range extender, to me, is a must. Dead eye, gold, Westbrook has made shots in phases of his opponent. Hot zone hunter, gotta have that gold. Opens up the green window. And, oh wait, I said the four major shooting badges. I forgot, there's no more quick draw. I mean, this is honestly up to you. Westbrook is a, excuse me, Westbrook is a volume shooter. Takes tons of shots. This would suit him. You know, well, if you say he's clutch, you can do clutch shooter. You know, let's just do volume shooter for now. I mean, it's up to you at the end of the day. Now, dimer, gold, handles for days, gold, quick first step. Westbrook has one of the quickest first steps ever. So you gotta have quick first step. Westbrook makes a lot of mid air passes, bailout. He breaks angles, angle breaker. He makes tough passes, needle threader. Maybe Hall of Fame Dimers OD. Let's do silver. I mean, you can do postman technician. You can do floor general. You can do flashy passer. I mean, there's just so much. What I mean, tight handles, unpluckable. There's just so much Westbrook can do. You know, it's tough to make Russell Westbrook exactly. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Defensive badges. Uh, I would go Clamps, Gold, uh, Intimidator, not Intimidator, Interceptor, Gold or Silver. I would probably go Rebound Chaser, Bronze, you know, he's a good rebounder. And maybe even Tireless Defender, because Westbrook has tons of energy. Now, let me know what you think of this build. If you have any disputes or questions, whatever, let me know. And make sure you check out the other videos. And don't forget that subscribe button, man. It would help me out a ton. It would mean the world to me. Now, I hope you guys have a great day. Here are the videos on the end screen. Check one of them out. I'll see you there. Or I'll see you on the next one. But, till next time, I am out. Peace.